loading 35mm film into the EOS F500, and everything you need to know about it. If you are interested in a full tutorial on the EOS 500, there is a tab right here and a link in the description to everything you could ever want to know about the EOS 500. The camera is fully DX capable and will read the entirety of the film cartridge DX code using the six pins inside the 35mm chamber. This will set the proper ISO using the film used in the camera. If the film cartridge does not have a DX code, you can set the ISO manually from 6 ISO to 6400 using the ISO selection on the dial. Loading film. Loading the film is an easy process. Open the back hatch with the release on the side. Slide the cartridge film into place and pull the film to the end of the camera where the red marker is. Then close the hatch. After the film has been loaded and the camera is moved into one of the photography modes, the film will be rolled out of the cartridge and into the chamber located on the side of the grip. As it does this, there will be a counter that will go up until the entire roll has been moved into the grip, usually up to 36 frames. This indicates how many shots are left in the spool of film. As the film is shot, it will spool back into the cartridge. This design prevents photographers from destroying a roll of film by opening the back case without retracting all of the already shot film back into the cartridge. If you have finished shooting and have not completed your roll of film, you can return the film to the cartridge by selecting the rewind setting on the dial and pressing the rewind button also used for the 10 second timer. This will retract the film completely into the cartridge and will not leave a tab. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment. As well, feel free to subscribe to join the Film Camera Club. We create tutorials, tips and tricks videos, and cover things to help you shoot better with your film camera.